Hello guys, today the fourth episode will be finished. All you have to do is subscribe the channel to receive all that is new. The anime begins with the farmer, Hirako, carrying an axe and going to a coin in the farm. He talks with Zabutan, then he is surprised by a large bee brought by Zabutan, the spider. Will you eat it or will you raise a pet hacky one? He was already tamed as an animal working with them on the farm. The next morning, Hirako built a beautiful house for a bee's nest near the orchard. Ten days later, the bees built a large nest inside. Bees are very organized. They are all busy taking care of their jobs. Only the queen is this big. As for the rest of the bees, they are much smaller. I hope they will bring me a lot of honey. But I must plant a garden of many flowers. His girlfriend came to him and then she was surprised when she saw these many bees. You may have been stung before by a large bee. And in the middle of the day Hirato made a very big tank, so that water is held by it through the waterway of the river. The problem is that there is a great distance between here and the river, and that is very difficult. How will we solve this problem, my friend? Can we build a waterway of stone? Or is it very difficult to get these stones? There is a better idea. We can make it out of wood. We have a lot of wood already, she told him. But if it was a long corridor like this, water would seep through. Take the long corridor. Well in that case I will make it out of this. It is a substance like concrete. I think it will work. She told him which and where would she get this raw material from. Hirako replied, we have a large mountain of dirt left over from the reservoir pits. This has already been worked on. I am sure it will work. At exactly 9 o'clock in the morning of the next day, the operation was completed. We built a water intake gate at the top of the waterfall. Then we built the foundation using dirt and then put the passage parts over it. Everyone is working hard. We are all one team. The most important thing is group spirit. This is what makes us an equal and successful team as well. Then I focused on closing the seams and strengthening the foundation. It was a lot of hard work. Finally we wouldn't have to go up and out of the well to get water every day. This will greatly prepare us to irrigate the earth with ease and ease. There are also many fish. But how will we preserve this fish wealth? You know that the rabbits in this forest are very predatory. We will guard them all the time. And now it's time to hunt and eat. What do you think of this big fish? Hirako started preparing the fish and then gave it to his friends, but they did not eat it first, believing that these fish are from the forest of death, and I taste very bad. Then he tried it and it tasted really good. Then they ate it all and it was really delicious. <laughs> ほかほどで中に大きな巣が完成。と。水路作りはどこまで進んでいるの？ため池。何？どうします？じゃあ、どんどん。まずは。これで行けそうだ。栗？こっちに。その用になったな。え？の補強に専念する。and then Hirako decides to try plowing with a shovel while thinking of rice plants, and indeed rice plants appear. He did not know that they could grow in this natural soil. But after he built the waterways here, he asked the girls to build a paddy field. And Hirako starts building, and one of the girls tells him that this looks like a normal field, and he told her that he did not complete the field. Then Hirako makes the water move in the field, and one of the girls asks him, would you put the fish here? So he told her that he did not do that and that he needed all of their help in the next part. The girls agree and go down with him in the water and he gives them some seedlings for them to plant. The girls were a little nervous at first, but they quickly learned that. Rice cultivation went off without a hitch and Hirako put the children of Zabutan in front of the planting to be responsible for keeping pests out of the area. Hirako wasn't sure if it was good thanks to the water or the all-around cultivation tool. Then the rice plants grew much faster than Hirako had expected. And it was time to harvest, so the girls helped him in that, and thanks to them, it was done in the blink of an eye.
何をじゃあ手分けして田植えは順調に進んだピおかしっていただけだそう After they finished harvesting, Leah asked him what they were going to do next, and Hirako told her that they were going to dry it out of the moisture. And then they thresh it, and this old threshing machine appears, and Hirako teaches them how to thresh the rice, and then they put it in a sieve to get rid of any remaining leaves or plant materials. Hirako does the rest of the things needed to make the rice clean. Tia asks him if they can't eat rice if he doesn't do all this. He told her that he must do all these steps to make it ready to eat. And when he finishes all that, he settles it on the fire and tells the girls that when they settle the rice, they should put water on it and when it rises in the pot. They slow down the fire until it matures. Ro and Tia are surprised and ask Ro, what is this spell? I have never heard of it before. Hiroko asks Ro to use her magic and light a fire under the rice bowl. Ro prepares to light the fire as she feels that she has found her chance to start a big fire. But Hiroko tells her that he only wants a very small fire to cook the rice. When the rice is cooked, Hiroko prepares it into small balls. So the girls took it to taste it and found it very tasty, so they ate it all and told him that this rice is delicious and worth all the trouble they suffered. The next day, they work a lot in the field and Hiroko asks them to stop work to rest. So the girls come out of the ground and use their magic to cleanse their bodies. When Hiroko sees them, he thinks of building a bath, since he was able to build a waterway, so he will try to build a bath. Then he tells the girls about what he wants to do, which is a bathroom for them to wash their bodies in after work, and he will also make a basin and a place for them to wear their clothes. Tia said to him, Why didn't we wash our bodies in the waters of the river? He replied that it was very cold and they would get sick if they did that. And Hiroko starts building the oven to heat the water in it. And then builds a large basin and also builds benches to sit on in the washing area. Then Hiroko notices that if he takes water from the river, it is good. But it is not acceptable to return wastewater from the bathroom and things to the river. Tia told him that he could use the mud to clean and purify waste and dead organic matter. And it's nature's cleaning machines, aren't those weak looking monsters very dangerous, Hiroko says, and be the number one cause of death in new adventurers? Tia told him it's not her, and I'm going to catch some of it. Indeed, Tia goes and brings slime with her, and Hiroko talks to the animals and says to them, Do you eat this? But they refuse and throw mud in the water. Hiroko says he built a filtration pool for the mud in the wastewater. Tia said we will put mud in the toilet and they will clean everything for us. And Hiroko is happy that the slime will help them, but I don't know if I have the courage to do my job right on top of the slime. Now I need to get some firewood and the bathroom will be all set. He sees mushrooms and says I was very afraid to eat any of the mushrooms in this forest and I don't know which ones might be poisonous. He remembers the girls eating mushrooms and they were very happy. Hiroko wants to grow all the mushrooms he knows, but he's not sure if this is the right way to do it. Hiroko talks to the girls and tells them I will teach you how to use the bathroom, first undress in the changing room before hitting the tub. Then you first need to rinse and wash yourself gently in the washing area. Leah says it would be very helpful to show us how this is done. And he shows them how to use it, and he tells them first to take off your clothes, then you rinse with water, then you wash yourself, and finally you enter the bathroom, and Hiroko very much enjoys bathing. And we see the girls taking off their clothes and rushing to the bathroom. One of the girls says it's good to be able to relax and wash ourselves. Hiroko says I will go out so you can take your time. Ru told him not to stay with us Hiroko says I should have built a separate men's bath. The next day, Hiroko shows the mushrooms he made and says I might make a hot mushroom bowl tonight. And the dogs found him. They brought five new fairies and brought them here. And he asks Leah, do they want to live with us? She told him yes, they lived in the same village as us and Lacey says to him, since we left, we've been living our lives as wanderers looking for a place to settle down. And it's been 200 years since our groups saw each other. Hiroko is surprised and says that you have had a very difficult time and agrees that they live with them. Leah says let's start building a new house for you. Why don't we take this opportunity to make some improvements to Hiroko's house as well? He told her well there are more people living in it and it's getting tight. Lacey told him we'll help you. Hiroko thanks them and says this will be a great help. 
Leah says we will start now and also to ensure the revival of our race let's also start having children. Hirako says, I don't know how they will have children, but it is good to see them, so optimistic. And the dog sees them and says that the number of females has increased very much in Hirako's pack, and his name will be Kuro, and before I met my master, I did not have a name to give him my name, and from the moment of my birth I spent my whole life in this forest alone. I did not lose a single battle to another male. I planned to live my whole life doing whatever I wanted. And hunt when you need food. And one day I met a female I didn't have a chance against. And we started traveling together. At some point her belly started to grow and it wasn't long before she gave birth to our children. But one day we encountered the gladiator bear, who was the king of this forest. And I don't know if he just decided on a whim to spare us or if he was full but didn't eat us. We were so badly injured we couldn't search for food and we became very weak. And suddenly we found ourselves in the middle of the forest. In a place where even a grappling bear would not dare to walk. And what we found was a human male and how a frail-looking person could survive here alone. And I felt boundless power coming from that tool. We thought our lives were over, but we made a contract with that person and this person helped us a lot and we were very confident in him and decided that he would become our master he also gave us names as well as a house to live in. He cleans our food and the vegetables he cooks are very delicious. It wasn't long before our children grew up and we became a big family. He also became the leader of his own large pack, despite all these girls, he is a weak person, as I thought. My only concern is that he doesn't seem unaware that we are the terrifying beasts known as the wolves of hell. But I am so grateful to him that he led me here. たうえは順調に進んだ。でもらい。たしか。つまんないわね。あれだけの手間をかけてできた。ま。みんな魔法で汚れをきれいにてお湯を溜める浴槽。進める。さらさら気づいたんだが、冒険者の死因ナンバーワンみたいなスト中にスライムの浄化プール。懸命ね。見分け方は変え。体を簡単に洗ってからだ。その。折れた。後に連れてきた。ラファです。再会したのは200